Step 5 of the Process Costing Report or Production Report using FIFO and Problem P2 in your text, uh, we've gotten this far, haven't we? So Step 5 is to assign the cost to either the goods transferred out of your department or to ending inventory. And just as a quick recap, we know that in Step 1, we accounted for the physical units that we were, are accountable for in our department. Step 2, we accounted for our efforts during the current period on those units, and that's called computing the equivalent units, or the EUs, or EUs. Step 3 says, as a manager, I'm also responsible for the cost flowing through my department, and so I recap the costs in my department. Step 4 says, find the current cost per current equivalent unit for materials and for conversion costs. So we have now found that for materials, we did a $1.16 worth of uh, cost per effort for materials and a, uh, 84 cents for conversion. So on step five, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to aim for this number because in our department, am I accountable for $130,385? Yes. So that's the goal. So in step five, I know that my total cost is $130,385. The easiest way to assign the cost is to first find the ending inventory. Because if I know what the cost of the ending inventory is, do I know that all the rest of the cost, and yes, I could spend time and compute it, but it's a lot easier to what? Just plug it. So what we're going to do is say, okay, what were my equivalent units for materials and multiply that by $1.16. And if you look up above in step two, you'll find that there were 3,400 equivalent units of effort for materials and 1,700 equivalent units of effort for conversion. So let's find those real quick and check them off. You see the 3,400 here and the 1,700? That's where those numbers come from. So ending inventory, how much effort did you do? Materials, 3,400. What's the cost per equivalent unit? $1.16. If I do my multiplication right, that means there's $3,944 or $3,944 of materials assigned or allocated to ending inventory. As far as conversion, $0.84 cents is our cost per equivalent unit times $1,700 equivalent units of effort. If I multiply that, I get $1,428. So I'm going to assign conversion costs of 1428 to ending inventory. So adding the 3944 plus the 1428 together, ending inventory is going to be assigned a value of 5372 or 5372. So if I'm re responsible for 130385 and I've assigned $5,372 of cost to ending inventory, the rest must have left my department, which is, let's see, the difference between these two is $125,013. So that's a plug, but I know that's how much transferred out. So now we're done with the production report and we're left with, well, why did I do this? And the reason you did this was for the sake of a journal entry. You needed to be able to take the costs that you're ass assigned in your work and process department. So I have beginning plus direct materials plus labor plus overhead. And I need to assign some cost to those goods transferred out, which we've just done, which we said is $125,013, and assign some cost to the ending inventory. Well, how do you get those numbers in the, the T account, the work and process account? You do that fabulous journal entry, don't you? So we're going to be debiting work in process the next department, whatever that department is, or it's going to go into finished goods if the product is done. And I'm going to credit work in process this department, whatever the name of this department was, was, what, was it extraction or mixing or blending or something like that. And now the question is, is which number do I use? Well, 
I'm going to use the transferred out number. So I'm going to transfer out $125,013. And by making this entry and posting this entry, will I end up with the appropriate ending balance that's still my responsibility in my T account or my department known as work in process of 53.72. And then that ending inventory becomes what? The beginning inventory for the next period. And that beginning inventory for the next period has this much direct material cost in it, this much conversion cost in it, and we do it all over again. So we do a production report for every department, every period, full employment for accountants.